Most people in life are looking at how do I make a life worth living when I return with having it. When I make these recordings, I am recording truly for the one I love. I am saying to them, I love you and I want you to understand the world. I want you to understand what happens in America. I want you to understand what is going on behind the scenes and in the shadows. I want you to be prepared for our current technologically advanced, sophisticated, and immoral world. Since technology came on the scene, we have advanced as a society. We have advanced to the point that there are people who are good in the world and people who simply gain notoriety for their five minutes of fame. Five minutes of fame is not what most companies and most business owners are looking for for their organizations. What they're looking for is consistent clients to keep their companies afloat through the fact that we now have Amazon, we now have online shopping, we now have home shopping network from the television, and a lot of people still like calling up a company, giving their credit card where it's trusted, and buying things. They also like being able to shop online, seeing all the possible products, and have it coming directly from one distribution hub to another, mainly their home address. What's amazing about Amazon today is that they do have these Amazon mailboxes, like outside the Glendale Mall, where something private or personal could go, or if someone is sort of living in the shadows, and meaning that they're kind of hopping from place to place, getting their life together, they could have something mailed to that mailbox. And that's amazing. Amazon needs to do more of that. They need to do more of that in stations that are sort of more modest, not huge stations, because you know they'll be fast but in a modest station, like in Champaign, where they have a bus station that could handle that, they should do that. It would allow men and women to buy the things that they need without having to worry about whether or not their apartment mailbox is going to be stolen from them. I can't get over how many packages sit outside mailboxes on the uh, college campus, but I worry for those people. It's money down the drain if somebody walks in and takes it out. But maybe people don't pay attention to that, but I've always been a safety man. My life has been about safety. I used to teach women's self-protection courses with a marvelous police officer who was a little bit physical, big, physically bigger than me. We were hired by a couple who was some sort of Methodist or some sort of religious people, and eventually I went on to do my own thing, because I couldn't understand what they were benefiting from other than possibly selling things. And what I determined was that going to a health club and establishing an actual event on a regular basis, quarterly or whatnot, was good enough for me. It got the class filled with 8 to 10 people, and that's all you need. You make a quick cash, you help them learn about life and self-protection in today's world, and you're good with that. Other times, we can go to organizations that have a gymnasium. And in that gymnasium, you can have a lot more couples, a lot more people, a lot more singles, a lot more young people willing to listen and learn. There's plenty of seating because there's a set of bleachers that can be pulled out, and there's plenty of room on the floor to work out. But what I'm talking about is not what I did in the past or what I might do in the future with my next spouse and children, but what I'm talking about is that everyone is everywhere is always learning. And they're learning about how to live life in the cities they're in, in the places they travel, and across the nation. No matter what, we have predators around the world. It's the whole reason that Criminal Minds and Hill Street Blues and all these old kind of television shows like Barney Miller have always lasted. We are fascinated with law, we are fascinated with abusers of the law, but we are also having to be plastered with the truth. The truth in the news is that sometimes police officers abuse the law. Many times they do it in their social cliques, their social networks, and their home environment. You see, a, a bruiser in the community is probably still a bruiser at home. A violator of the law is probably a violator at home. And what we have to really think about most important in the world is human rights. Human rights say, this is my body, and I will do whatever I choose in the remembrance of whatever God I please, and I have rights. Human rights says, this is my property, and these possessions belong to me, and no one has the right to take them from me, from my pockets, from my pocketbook, from my packages, from my briefcase, from my car, from my home. These things belong to me. I either earned them, I gained them in gifts or I purchased them for me. Earning something is very different than taking something. A person who takes is not an earner. They've never learned to earn. But a person who earns know what, knows what taking is. And life is not for the taking. Life is for the making. If you can't make something of your life, then you need to seek out a counselor of sorts who can listen to you, talk to you, ask you important questions, and try to steer you in a direction that will really put your life on course, that will really allow your light from the Lord to shine.
that will really light you up all the time and that will bring into your life the people, the participants, the places, the experiences, the situations, the conditions that you need in your life. In life we have moments of time to speak the truth and making moments matter is what life is about. If you can make a moment matter for your client or your customer, then they will really want to make your life matter to them in the future. When they're thinking about you, when someone says, hey, I'm looking for a real estate agent, they might say, oh my God, you have to call this woman. She is incredible. She did everything, and I felt so comfortable, so okay, and so trusting of her. And if the same for you is that you need a mortgage broker, then you might want somebody who does both. I don't know what the laws are and responsibilities about that is, but if I had that choice of how I had to handle my thing, I know exactly who I'd call. There's no other person I would choose for that. And it has nothing to do at all with what I understand she can and can't do in the business. It's what I know about her mind, it's what I know about her heart, and it's what I know about her soul. But God loves her, and I love her too. And that's it for me. That should be it for you. But when we're talking about marketing, there is a dime a dozen businesses that crop up all the time. There are people who say, well, my nephew can do my website. Well, good, you let him do that. But what the fuck does he know about marketing you? What exactly does he know about your industry? What can he do in research? What does he know about what men think? What does he know about how to sell to women? What does he know about your target marketplace? What does he know about the demographics, the 20 characteristics that you need to tap, tap every time so that you have a consistent lifeline to income? You see, you might have a resource, but the resource may not be the right resource for you or your business. And I know that in marketing. There's a lot of marketing guys that are better than me. There's a lot of marketing guys that are worse than me. There's a lot of marketing guys that have no skills but want to be marketing guys. And I'm like, go have at it, but good luck for you. Because there's always liability to what we do. But there's also a challenge in marketing that sometimes organizations that we buy from change their rules. And at that time, we as marketers go, okay, we're grandfathered in on this stuff because we paid for it under these rules. And you cannot come back against me because you decided to change your rules. That is a standard across every fucking industry. Except there's a company called Getty Images that likes to kind of play that game. We also have a problem in that people buy things and put them out on their website. And then immoral people don't respect copyright law. So they think they can just copy and paste that and use it for their business and they can't. At the same time we have people who buy the clip art and then put it out there like it's shareware or freeware. And it's not. And that can get people pinged with money issues. We have technologies today that can hunt and find images that belong to a company. We have to know that. But at the same time, when we buy an image, we have the right to pull it apart, redesign it, refigure it, really change it if we want to, and do marvelous things with it. And openly, that's something that a guy like me can do. I may not be a perfect drawer. I might not be a graphic designer in that regard. I might not be an animator, but I sure know how to cut film. I definitely know how to cut film. I know how to slice film. I know how to edit film because I spent money, serious money for a guy of my age station and generation to learn how to do that with a wonderful man who did a web university for editing of film. I loved the courses, they were really well done, and it was the best investment I've ever made in my adult life, outside of just spending time with my old dad. And in life we have to have mentors, we have to have people, we have to know that we have to know people that really know what they're doing in life. And in life we have to also know what is and isn't lawful. You might have a desire to bash somebody's life, but you know what? You don't have the right to do that. You might have the, the inclination that you want to take something off someone's computer because you like it, but you don't have the right to do that. You might have the desire to ruin someone's things, but you do not have the right to do that. The thing that I have been marveling at through all the abuse that I've experienced over the last five to seven years, since uh, probably 2012 when all this shit started on my life, literally with my original cell phone from Sprint, is that I cannot believe how many people immorally interact and behave in a way that abuses other people. In life we have to speak the truth. And the Lord God above did not put you in this world to abuse people. The Lord God above did not put you in life to do this to people. The Lord God of all things did not say, sure, take that man's clothes off and just shave him up because he's asleep and it's okay for you to do it because you don't like the way his body looks when it's naked. Motherfucker, it wasn't your right to see it in the first place. So let's be real. If you're behaving that way, where do you think you're going to end up in the afterlife? Better yet, where do you think you're going to end up in regular life? You'll end up in jail. You fucking know what the laws are of America. And if you don't, and if you think you can play in the shadows and get away with it, 
keep playing that way until they really bite you in the ass. Because sometimes they let people play in the shadows until they go too far. Once they hit too far, the entire network goes after them. You see, networkers always like to have networks. But sometimes their networks start to self-dissolve. Meaning, when I timed out of my uh, small business group, it was time. It was just time. The people were not participating at the same way. They were not bringing guests to our organization meetings in any way. They were not doing anything but being takers. And that told me it was time to be done. It also showed me that people were not really wanting to make changes. They wanted to know about the things. But they were going to still run and do their own stuff and stay at the level they were at. And that was their choice. But for someone like me and for someone like some of my friends, we are lifelong learners until the end. We love change. We love transforming. We love evolving. We love becoming something new again and again. And those are the people who are deeper, more sound, and more safe to be around. 